What's going on YouTube, Naim here, and I'm back here with another banger video, and yes, so y'all see by today's title and thumbnail, I'm going to be telling y'all how I made six figures just off of one product alone. You know, a lot of y'all been asking me, how were you able to make so much off of one product, like what did you do? And I'm just going to basically be telling y'all the story on how I made six figures just off of one product, and if y'all new, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, you know what I'm saying, get y'all pens, get y'all paper. I'm just going to be dropping some sauce on how I basically scaled my clothing brand to six figures just off of one product alone, saying we on the road to 20k, so we finna hit it real soon so the first thing i'm gonna basically be going over is like kind of like the background and basically like how everything got started i started my clothing man this was roughly around like the early stages of my clothing man probably around my third mark of my clothing brand that's when i really designed this product it was the first actual hoodie that i couldn't make myself because as y'all know or if you guys didn't know when i first started my clothing brand i was doing heat press and heat press is bad bro i was using puff print vinyl like yeah i'm gonna put up pictures because i was really doing it i was making hoodies off of puff print vinyl i couldn't make a spe this specific hoodie because off of the design so i had to actually save up the first five six months of my clothing brand to actually get a manufacturer and it's crazy to think that my first ever manufacturer drop was the biggest ever and is the product that got my clothing brand is six figures just off of one product alone this one product alone has brought me over six figures but back then when i first started my clothing brand puff print was really a big thing that's why i was so focused on getting a manufacturer because i had puff print but it wasn't good puff print bro like if i have pictures up i'm gonna show y'all because it's literally vinyl i'm heat pressing all that stuff and i was like bro i cannot keep heat pressing it's taking too much time out of my day so this is the first design that i actually use custom woven tags because that's what you could do when a manufacturer i was making designs kind of limited my first few drops of my clothing brand because all i really could do is a small design is puff print because i don't have a manufacturer or because i didn't have the money because of that so this was the first drop. It was actually good quality, good puff print, all that stuff. This is my first drop. I used custom woven tags. And back then, there wasn't too much people making puff, good, actually good puff print hoodies that actually look good and just wasn't a copy and paste, bro. I noticed those colorways was going crazy, like the gray and black. What really made mine stand out was like, I noticed this product is good. I know the design is good because I like, I personally liked it. You know what I'm saying? I was just dropping stuff that I liked. So I'm like, okay, this is good. It doesn't look too similar to what everybody else has been making like you could definitely see that this is from statement and you guys could definitely see like if two people similar inspiration was to stand next to each other you could definitely tell which one is statement and which one isn't kind of really just wanted to go with the puff print and like have stars around and all that stuff because that was really what i liked at the time and i was like you know what why not just make it and i was taking inspiration i had i don't i forgot who it was bro but i had seen someone do like the sleeve cuff y'all ain't know this is the brand and i had good packaging from the start y'all can see it is a custom woven tag right here like, y'all can see how everything is, like, little details. Like, I was really going crazy with this. This was kind of, like, my first ever drop that I had to get with a manufacturer. So, I, every custom woven tag is different. So, every hoodie, you get this nice star woven tag. Got the STMT at the top. So, I like this hoodie, bro. And people just messed with it because of the quality, bro. I was showing off the quality in the puff print, as y'all can see. Yeah, so that's kind of really how I came up with the product. Kind of took the inspiration, but put my own spin on it. Did notice that puff print was going crazy at the time. And what I seen was a lot of people was posting bad puff print qualities. Custom woven tag, I placed into that because I had realized that like, bro, packaging, that kind of plays a role in a part too, feel me? This one is kind of bent, but... Y'all can see packaging was kind of a, a good thing. And I took the time to actually make custom woven bags. I'm, make sure you guys have great packaging. We got the size medium. Thank you for purchasing. This is a nice little bag that it just comes nice. You can open it, obviously. And I'm going to show you the blue one. Because the blue also has a different colorway. A different... See, y'all can see. So... Definitely packaging helped crazy. When I first planned to drop it, it was, I had this crop gray hoodie look in my mind. And that's what I really liked at the time. I liked crop hoodies at the bottom. So that's what kind of my envision was to have like the strings at the bottom and all that good stuff. But what I had realized was that a lot of people didn't like it like that. As you guys can see, there's no pockets. The pockets are on the side. Design, it really took about three to four months, bro. Like I've been saying this in the other videos, but that design it was probably like my first design that took a while because i started it probably for like a day like what i would do is i would design for like two days 
and then not design at all for like a couple weeks because I wouldn't get nothing in my mind. But I was like, I randomly designed this. It was like, it was like for three to four months straight, I was just designing, not designing, designing, not designing. Just I would really just only design whenever I would have ideas come to my head. I originally had this all in a different font but i had changed it like you guys can see the difference is crazy because these difference in this is so much different like if i would have dropped my first version of these oh, that would have never blew up bro i swear but yeah that's why i say take out time with it redid it y'all gonna see the pictures side by side bro like it's a crazy comparison this is a way cleaner outlook bro y'all can see hold on Y'all can see, this is literally a way cleaner outlook. The design process, it didn't just take one night, bro. I didn't make this design in one night. I made a bunch of colors to it because I was like, bro, this is gonna go crazy. Because at the time, did these different colors was trending. Like if you do gray, light gray, or dark gray. But those, I just noticed those colorways was trending at the time. Those was going crazy and it looked best because it's stars, it's bright. So it really looked best for this product. So that's why I had chose like the different type of colorways. But as again, I would have dropped all the colorways. I made the colorways before I even made my first product like i probably made my first product as like the black one was the first one like i had these colorways for a minute i just had no money to get the samples so after i got my first gray hoodie the gray hoodie was the first one i ever dropped you know what i'm saying i was posting on tiktok every single day i dropped the gray hoodie that one was going crazy i think i did 6k in that day it was my first ever drop i did i think like a thousand in five minutes or something there's literally a whole video on it. i'm gonna put the clip up right now if y'all gonna see let's go a little little flashback you know what i'm saying at that point you feel me? I ain't picking up the camera in a minute, but I'm about to drop right now. Saying I'm dropping at, I'm dropping at five. It's four fifty-two right now. I'm saying fifteen people on the site. I ain't gonna lie, I'm nervous, but TikTok blew up. But yeah, this is the hoodie that I'm dropping. This is the hoodie that I'm dropping. Y'all can't tell. I'm nervous. Let's go. Drop. You know what I'm saying we're at twenty-nine orders. So yeah, site slowing down a little bit. So I just wanna say thank you to everybody that purchased. If you purchased, thank you. I appreciate you so much. But yeah, that's just to tell y'all, bro. It was like two, I think I did like 2K or whatever. Y'all just seen the video, but yeah, just off of that awful one drop, I was mad happy. But that was my gray hoodie. And at that time I was like, that's crazy. So I really just started posting on TikTok. Like when I first posted it to TikTok, the videos that was going viral for me was the videos showing the puff print and the quality because. So I made sure that my puff print was crazy enough. Bro, my puff was puffing, bro. Y'all know there's some, some, there's like low puff print and there's like big puff print. My, my puff print on it was thick. So that's what really made people to stop and take a look at this hoodie because the quality was so different from what other people was posting y'all could already see this one y'all could already see how thick this is bro so i made a tiktok about literally how thick it was i made a aesthetic tiktok y'all could definitely see i made an aesthetic tiktok about how the puff print was and that those videos will always go crazy for me those videos used to literally blow because everybody's in the comments they're arguing about if it's good or or if it's not good so a lot of people was like oh the puff print go crazy the colors go crazy the puff print go crazy so what really people was looking at the comments be like okay that puff print is hard and they're commenting they just keep on commenting because they like the puff print of the hoodie because no other brands every other brand was just flat puff print but y'all can literally see right here how the puff is actually it's actually there so those were just the videos that were going crazy for me. So I really just kept doing, I kept rinsing and repeating. I started replying to people's comments. If you guys get a, a, a video with good amount of views, bro, always reply to a comment on that video because viral videos, bro, you could literally drag a viral video out for so long, bro, but people don't know that. It, make sure you guys are replying to comments. If it's any controversy, if someone says your product trash, really make a video to the reply and show other people the product because people are going to be like, bro, that, that product is not trash. Give you that sauce, bro. A lot of people have been using this Quan. Y'all know Quan? Y'all know how he like threw the uh, brand on the floor? Bro, I made a video on that and got a quick 10K views in one day just because that whole situation is going viral, bro. A lot of people, a lot of smart people know, bro, if you made a video about Quan throwing your stuff trash, a lot of people will comment. That will get a lot of people to comment and that will literally make your video go viral because people is commenting. People is like, nah, your brand not trash, bro. That T fire. And then they will cop.
is literally marketing, bro. You could use this situation literally off a of whole marketing, but that sauce that y'all probably ain't even peep. Literally, they seen that Quan video. Any video that had Quan name in it, talking about how he was throwing the packages. I know y'all seen that. Any video with those, those videos was going viral. That was my first job. After I got my gray hoodies, I instantly ordered samples. What I was doing at the time, I was like, I figured out, I literally wasn't making no model pictures or nothing. I literally just took pictures. I was so hyped. I literally ordered my new sample because everybody's telling me, yo, restock 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 because that was a pre-order right like everybody was telling me to restock so i literally was like okay i'm finna read now i got the money i'm finna get this money that i just made and i'm finna order three new sample colors i instantly got them i threw them on the floor took pictures and those videos was going crazy because everybody wanted new colors because I, like i told y'all the video went viral but it was only one color available so i got everybody to everybody telling me to restock i'm making videos on a puff print of the new colors too so I'm over here just chocolate hoodie plus restock. I'm make every single video. I make sure and I'm telling everybody that you're signing up to my SMS list. If someone called it trash, if someone was like trash brand, and I would literally just reply to their comment with a video of the product, and people would literally comment, "No, it's not trash." I'm telling ya. People would respond to controversy like that back then. I've been selling this product for basically like a year now. August, I had a crazy month. I made 87K in August. That was a crazy, crazy month for these hoodies because I've been running ads. I've literally been running ads for these hoodies. Back to school, September, I think that was around like 60K. Drop December, I reopened. So i just been selling these hoodies literally all year round, bro. People been saying, oh, don't sell hoodies in the summer because they, they, nobody buys them. Bro, people buy hoodies in the summer. If your hoodie is tough, I was getting 50K plus on just these hoodies alone in mid-july and it's hot outside people still buying these hoodies that was um basically just the whole whole breakdown on how everything i had my biggest month was on 87k with these hoodies like literally i remember it would be like some days where i would have nothing on my website and i would just be like okay let me just open my website and i would open my website after having nothing on my website for like a month no promotion or nothing it was just a random friday that these hoodies were so powerful literally i just opened my website it was like friday at 5 p.m and i think i did like 3k in sales just off of that random friday I just opened because people wanted these hoodies so bad. This was literally after my highest month. This was probably in like November. I literally just randomly opened my site and I got a 3K sales from 5 p.m. to that midnight. Website was closed and people was joining the back end stock because the videos were still going crazy that I made. I'm still making videos on it. They could get notified whenever it's back in stock. So anytime it's back in stock, people are instantly buying it. You guys literally just do your market research, see whatever is trending in the market right now. Literally make it with y'all own spend. Make clothes that you actually like, bro. I mess with this hoodie, like I wear this hoodie, bro. Actually make clothes that you like, bro. Don't just be doing this for the feel me what i was doing was the pre-order method but it was not it's not it's like basically like a faster pre-order method was i have, was working with my main fashion me and my main fashion had a very good good relationship because he was like the first ever person to make these hoodies so he me and him we decided to do a made to order what basically is i'm sending every single week i'm not touching inventory these are not pre-made at all and that was kind of like really like a big really dropped that i would say that didn't get returning customers and didn't get really more people in my clothes was because of the long shipping times because for me shipping times would take two to three week process and with that working with a pakistan manufacturer as well that comes with a lot of struggles because as y'all know pakistan the quality is not always the best because sometimes I, when i was doing that whole thing when i've been selling these cities all year they send me a lot of defective hoodies so but that means is you gotta refund a customer, I tell your manufacturer, give you a new hood, you gotta take pictures, all that. What which is really what more a lot of manufacturers, but it's really just solely Pakistan because I do not get any defective hoodies from China. Not saying that you are never gonna get a defective hoodie, but just Pakistan gives you so much defective hoodies. Well, just in my case, I was getting so much defective hoodies. I did get the hoodies back, but then it's kind of like okay, now I gotta refund a customer because I don't want them to wait a whole nother shipping process. Like that was kind of like the worst thing. The shipping times there was sometimes be delayed. So a lot of people was getting theirs. It's supposed to be two to three weeks, but a lot of people was getting theirs like three to four weeks. So I just had to been emailing a lot of people. And that was kind of really like the bad part was like the shipping times, which really I feel like I could have did better if I had a new manufacturer. But I really liked working with this one because they was the only one that I could leave my website open 24/7. From now on, these hoodies are now pre-made. I'm got it. I got a new manufacturer from. So that's that's the lesson I have learned with that is if you guys are on like a more budget friendly side, I would say just work with Pakistan. Get a good Pakistan manufacturer, you already know. If you don't know the rules about getting Pakistan, bro, do your research on doing on getting Pakistan manufacturers, bro, because that is a risky thing. But yeah, everybody knows that working with Pakistan is risky. Make sure you gotta switch over to China because the China quality is crazy. This is a good puff print, too. I like this puff print. 
China quality is better. This is Pakistan quality. I'ma just show y'all, bro. Pink is China, pa China versus Pakistan. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. China versus Pakistan. This is Pakistan. This is Pakistan. This is China. Let me know what y'all think, bro. Which one y'all going with? China, right? This is actually thick. We got the custom woven. We got woven tags on here, too. Hold on, I'm gonna show you that. Custom woven tags. Protect your art. Definitely making these hoodies in that main in my China manufacturer. Getting them all pre-made. Get getting also three new colors as well because I think I'm gonna do like brown, red, and probably another color, but pink. I'm gonna also get that in my new manufacturer hoodie. So I'm gonna redrop these most likely on Black Friday. Y'all hearing it first, but definitely I'm definitely planning on redropping these. I'm not doing a Pakistan no more. So I'm gonna do a pre-made drop. I'm gonna drop it on Black Friday and get that all pre-made, probably pre-made plus pre order because a lot of people are gonna be wanting new quality i just can't wait for it bro like i ain't gonna lie i feel like that's just gonna go so crazy because a lot of people have been like i ain't really like a new and updated hoodie of this could go crazy i could tweak up a few things of this change up the size tag change up the sizes because i know uh, the size i don't really like the size chart on this hoodie so really just change up the sizes go crazy with this drop again yeah i just want to say bro it's definitely possible for you guys to make a lot off of one product bro just literally keep redoing keep scaling it using ads ads work a lot facebook ads i started using facebook ads on these products and just to scale it more that being said bro if you guys do want to work with me one-on-one -on -one to scale your clothing brand literally like how i did with one product I'm only taking a few more spots available some spots got filled up but we got around like three to four more spots filled so if you guys are watching this video bro click literally the link down below only go if you serious about it if you're not serious about your brand and you don't want to scale your clothing brand, if you don't want to change your life if you don't want to make no changes bro that's on you but if you guys are serious about starting your clothing brand and you guys or if you already started your brand and need help getting at 10k a month it literally scale your clothing brands up to them big boy months it is what May 29th, and I already made over a hundred thousand dollars this year. If you guys want help with your brand, if you guys want to scale with your brand, literally get this phone so you can hit me up any time of the day if you need help with your brand. I'm doing calls with you guys. Fill out a form, even though if you apply, doesn't mean that you're are gonna get in. So if you guys are serious about your brand, go fill out the form. You know what I'm saying you guys can get on a call with my team, and we can just see if you guys are a good fit to work with me. If you guys are new, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, bro. I appreciate all y'all for watching today's video. Can't fail if you never give up, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bro. Yo, I steppers, need to start pressing pills to live up to their title I'm Simon Cowell to these niggas on American Idol I hit Givenchy, all black, playing scrubs on vinyl Had the black girls at 18, somebody go ask Nigel I scraped my Tesla the other week, I blamed it on Queen Nigel X marks the spot, they need to buy a metal detector I'm with the five-star gang, I'm finna call Lester She sits kicked in, I ain't blink yet, now my eyes hurt Fuck to this, she asked me for a tip, now I'm giving wise words